Hi, my name is Anjan Takurta. I'm an executive director in the translational development department within Celgene. My name is Peter Schaefer. I'm executive director in the translational development group at Celgene. I'm Donna Robertson, director intellectual property, Celgene Corporation. The patent is methods of using cerebellum binding proteins for measuring drug efficacy. This invention is really around the understanding of the binding protein and all of the substrates of that, of that enzyme and then the downstream effects, which really informs how we use this class of drugs to treat not only multiple myeloma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, but also other diseases, which are really unmet medical needs still today. Different types of uh, IMI drugs, even though they are structurally very related to each other, might have very different outcomes based on the substrates that it might engage. We've been able to now utilize this discovery to think about how we can differentiate different types of uh, immunomodulatory drugs that we have. These drugs have pleiotropic mechanisms. That means it works on tumor cells, it works on immune cells, but these activities are very different. With the help of these discoveries, the same drug could be anti-tumor. In other words, it kills the tumor cell, but it could stimulate the immune cells. The basic molecular mechanism uh, is uh, coming through these substrates and their behaviors in the tumor cell versus in the immune cell. Each cancer will be somewhat different even though they'll morph. These drugs, even though they look the same, bond to cerebellum, some will work in different, in different diseases, different hemonc diseases, different uh, immunomodulatory diseases, and, but with very slight changes in the chemical, which makes them fascinating. There are hundreds of different proteins that could be substrates, and we can now develop new drugs against those substrates that we couldn't do before. So it's opened up an entire new genre of new innovative discoveries that I think started from this initial identification of the substrates. It's very nice to be recognized by one's peers in the field because then it, it sort of reaffirms that, yes, you're, you're doing something that's, that's useful and beneficial, and um, it's, it's just a tremendous honor. A recognition like this uh, makes you feel proud of the work you are doing because your fellow scientists and others are recognizing the work. It's something that um, shows people that scientists are not just these people behind, you know, the wall. They're actually doing exciting work. There's still lots of things to be discovered in biology and chemistry.